What is up guys, Adam here, now welcome back to another career mode video. Today this is the ninth episode in my second season. As you can see we are currently first place with 33 points after 14 games with Juventus right behind us, Roma catching up, Lazio and Udinese, those are the top five. Bottom of the table we have Empoli, Bologna and Bari. So today we have two games, we have one game against Livorno and then we have another game against Fiorentina and then the transfer window finally opens and we are going to have a lot of games in January. As you can see right here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven games in a span of like five weeks. That's gonna be absolutely incredible. We're gonna have to win every single one of those games, honestly. So let's jump into this match. I'm going to keep this episode at two games because I do want you to let me know some players that you want me to pick up for when the January transfer window finally rolls around. But keep in mind that I do only have about 3 million euros to spend and 22k on wages. So we do need to sell some players. So this is the lineup that I'm going with. I'm going with Gabriel, Bellerin, Glick, Anzonian, Decilio, Vizzo, Bertolacci, Simone Verdi, Mbainian, Gabriel, and El Sharawi. Let's jump into this match. I think we can pick up three points. I'm resting some of my big name players because we do have the game against Fiorentina coming up in a few days. All right, let's go in this game. Livorno aren't going to trouble us, I don't think. They have just been promoted from the Serie A B. So if we do pick up a loss here, that is going to be pretty embarrassing. Let's jump into this match. Honestly, I think we could pick up a good three points right here and build a solid lead at the top of that table. Sees Gabriel there. Come on, Gabriel, get to that. That's a nice ball from Stefan El Sharawi. What's Gabriel going to do? Gabriel, after scoring last game, that's it. He misses the challenge, but it's blocked by the defender. I didn't know what else to do. I was like one on like eight over there for some reason. Niang sees Gabriel. Come on, Gabriel. Go, Gabriel. Get a good touch right there. Avoid the challenge. Give it to Niang. Go, Niang. Come on, Niang. Come on, Niang. Come on, near post, Niang. And by Niang, near post, but it's just wide. And by Niang with a good opportunity right there from a pass from Gabriel. He just couldn't slot it into the near post. Unlucky right there. To Gabriel. Gabriel cut inside. Come on, Gabriel. Avoid the challenge. Gabriel, have a shot off the post. Gabriel just hits the post right there off a nice run. It's a nice tackle, Verdi. Nice tackle, Gabriel. To Bertolacci. Bertolacci cut inside. Someone get there. To Vitzel. Come on, Vitzel. Use some dribbling. Have a shot, Vitzel. Have a strike, Vitzel, but it's blocked by Calabresi. We do have a corner right now in the 35th minute. I always go short on the corners. Someone get there. Someone get there. Who's there? That's a bad ball, but Glick picks it up. Glick to Verdi. Verdi's there. He gives it to El Sharawi, who's on the right side now for some reason. El Sharawi still has it. To Verdi. Come on, Verdi. Go inside. Verdi, a nice pass to Bertolacci. Bertolacci with your weak foot, but it's just blocked by the defender. End of the first half, we weren't able to score anything, but we'd had the better of the chances. I don't even think... Well, they had one shot in the beginning of the game, but we need to be doing more. We need to be putting away our chances. Let's jump into the second half. I'm not going to make any substitutions. I will make them later in the half. Let's go. All right, breakaway. Referee, that's a late challenge. And I think that's going to be on the side of the box. I'm not sure if that's a penalty. Let's see what he gives him. It's just a yellow, but it's outside of the box. Unfortunately, we do not get another penalty. But El Sharaw is here on the right side. I'm going to give it to Verdi. I'm not going to go for goal because he is left-footed. I'm going to try to swing this in and find the head of someone. There's the ball in. There's the ball in to Glick, but Glick can't do anything right there. They are so far back. It's incredible right now. All right, Verdi. Verdi to Vezzo. Vezzo. To Bertolacci, to Verdi, Verdi, to Niang, Niang cut inside, take a shot, and by Niang, yes, and by Niang with one of the luckiest goals, but honestly, I don't know how we haven't scored yet, and by Niang just scores with his left foot off a nice pass from, I want to say that was Verdi, yes, that was Verdi, a nice pass, a nice scoop turn from Mbai Niang, and a finesse shot into the near post, which hits off the keeper's hands and goes into the back of the net. Mbai Niang scoring his fourth goal in the 80th minute, and we're finally up 1-0 off a very defensive Livorno team. It's a nice block by Glick. Okay, let's start a counter-attack. Here's Mauri. Mauri could just hold it up over here. Giacomo Bonaventura to Bertolacci to Vizzo. Vizzo sees Gabriel. Gabriel Lukaku. Okay, Lukaku, Bonaventura. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything right here, but here's Bonaventura. Gabriel should start making a run. I don't know why he's not, but 
That's the end of the game right there. We win 1-0 off a goal from Mbaye Niang. We could have been up so much more because we had so many chances, but another three points at home. There's Glick happy. Everybody played a very good game. Our defenders played very well. Okay, so final game of this episode. I only wanted to keep two games in this episode because like I said, the transfer window was right around the corner and I want your input on which players you want me to pick up. So I'm gonna try a different formation in this game that I've been thinking of that we actually use in real life for the past few games. So let's jump into this game. I will show you the formation right now. So here's the lineup that I'm going with. Lopez, Bellerin, Glick, Romagnoli, De Chilio, Suso, Ferrati, Vitzel, El Sharawi, Baca, and Lukaku in a 4-4-2 formation. This is a formation that I would like to play, but since Kalanoglu is a central attacking midfielder, I usually favor the 4-3-3 with the central attacking mid. So I'm going to try this formation out. Let's jump into this game. We need to pick up three points right here so we can even extend our point gap even more. So we're here away from home against Fiorentina. Now we cannot take them lightly. I I think they might be in fifth place last I check or seventh one or the two so let's jump into this game try to pick up three points corner I didn't have anything else to do right there corner right here El Shadawi send it to Vito Vito get there but it's just blocked by the defender El Shadawi's on it again El Shadawi's on it go El Shadawi oh that is a terrible challenge right there from Glick I think he's going to get booked with a yellow card right there it was a late challenge let's see what he gets he's going to get a yellow card Shadawi swings it to Verratti Verratti have a finesse shot from here have a finesse shot but Vitzel picks it up to Glick Glick have a shot Camille Glick what a shot from Camille Glick and in the 45th minute we are up 1-0 that's so weird a defender actually shooting you with his foot usually they get headed goals but Verratti tried a shot right there falls to Vitzel gives it to Glick and Glick fires it into the top left corner what a shot from Glick we are up 1-0 right before halftime all right halftime we're up 1-0 off a goal from Camille Glick we haven't played the best in this half. Fiorentina have been all over us. As you can see right here, they have 65% possession with six shots and two on target. Let's jump into the second half. We're honestly lucky to have the lead off a goal from Glick. Let's go. Come on, Baka. What is he going to do? Here's it to Lukaku. Lukaku, first time shot, but it's saved by the keeper right there. A decent effort from Lukaku. Here's it to Glick for some reason. There's Verratti. Verratti. Come on, Verratti. No, 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 no. That was my bad. That was my bad. And they score a sweat. Come on, that was all my fault. I, I, I tried to do something with Verratti. He just coughed up the ball right there, and they were 2-0, the on and then they sweat it, and it's into the back of the net. It's 1-1 off a goal from Ryder, who I have no idea who that is. Okay, so Niang is coming on for Carlos Baca, who honestly, just, just, he just can't play anymore for some reason. Here's Niang, who's been in an impressive form in these past few games. Nice, Verratti. Try to redeem yourself from that. Oh, come on, Suso. Suso, Verratti, Verratti, Bellerin, Bellerin to Niang, go Niang, come on Niang, break around the defender, you have fresh legs, come on, cut inside, and by Niang, and by Niang, and by Niang, yes, and by Niang comes on and he scores again, it's 2-1 in the 82nd minute, while wow, Mbaye Niang has been playing absolutely amazing. Just look at that skill move right there and a right-footed finish on the near post into the top right corner. Niang's fifth goal this season. Honestly, I don't even know why I've been playing Baka. Niang has just been a revelation so far. He's been scoring so many goals and we're up 2-1 in the 82nd minute. Diego Lopez, get there. Nice, Diego Lopez. Oh my God, Diego Lopez could try for a goal. Diego Lopez could try for a goal. Oh no, ref, why do you whistle? That was, no, I wanted Diego Lopez to score a goal right there, but nevertheless, we pick up three points away from home against Fiorentina. That is the second win this episode in the second game. Honestly, we've been playing pretty good. And with that victory, we sit with 39 points. 29 goals for and 9 goals against a 20 goal differential 3 points above Juventus who just keep winning and then there's Udinese Roma and Fiorentina so we are currently the 18th of December and we do have 2 weeks left till the transfer window so let me know who you guys want me to pick up keep in mind like I said I only have 3 million to spend thank you guys for watching this episode leave a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you're not subscribed if you're new thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time why the fuck you lying? Why? Lying about what? Why you always lying? Why? What am I lying about? Subscribing to our channel. But I am subscribed. Stop fucking lying. Okay, I'll go subscribe.